Okay, typical. The wife is at the beach with the daughter and I am doing home repairs in a rental unit. It is, as they say, what it is. I am in a rental unit and I have had one of those nightmare situations. Yes, um, with plumbing. And it is the infamous union of polybutylene and PEX pipe. Well, in this case, right now, it's just polybutylene with a coupling or multiple couplings. And there is a rupture, there's an issue, and it's been, worst case scenario, slowly misting. Like not even spraying, but misting in the wall cavity. And it was unknown until some furniture was moved. And now we've learned that we've lost part of the bathroom floor, subfloor, and part of the bedroom subfloor, and part of this laundry room subfloor. So in other words, I have to tear up the carpet and the vinyl planks in the bathroom, carpets in the bedroom, and the laminate or the vinyl flooring in here, and redo the subflooring because it's a freaking cork board. And there's so many damn laws. I'm not a, I'm not one for you know overregulating and legislating, but if you've got all these stupid laws, why not have a law that says? You can't build houses with particle board, okay? Can we just agree on that? You cannot build, you cannot put freaking particle board for subflooring or MDF or whatever you want to call it, medium density fiber board, I don't care. It's sinful to do that. And it's so wrong because a lot of people are paying for it all the time. Anyway, I digress. So what I've got to show you is this little gadget here very handy little kit it comes with a the the lighter colored polybutylene crimp and the darker colored uh copper regular copper pex crimp and if you don't know any, about this stuff well i'm going to learn you because it's not that complicated but this suffice it to say will adapt polybutylene to pex pipe which i have an apple store of and i'm going to use because anytime I'm pulling out polybutylene to fix it, to repair it, I'm replacing it in as much as I can. So I have to cut, I'm gonna cut that down to there, uh, the one that's leaking for now, so I can turn the water back on. I'm gonna cut that off, I'll cut that out, and, uh, and adapt it right now with this kit. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Boy. What a shame. So now I've got this out and I will begin by removing this crimp ring, ring here. And I don't have my vibe saw. I don't have a, uh, a crimp cutter. All I have is a grinder. So I'm going to grind that and uh, remove it so I don't have to buy a new spigot. So, um, yeah, it just, it just plain broke. Now, I'm going to cut it. That's terrible. Ridiculous. Okay, so here is the actual uh, coupling. This, this under my thumb here is the uh, polybutylene insert, and then this is the PEX here. And I've got the rings on, and this kit, you'll note that the copper, or the the ring for the for the PEX is the regular copper ring, and the ring for the uh, uh, polybutylene is the lighter color. So this is how we will do this. So we stuff that down in there, and then you can use. They, a lot of people say don't use the same crimp tool. You need to get another crimp tool for the polybutylene. But this is all I have for now, and a lot of a lot of guys do use this uh, same crimp tool. But we'll we'll check and be very sure. And if this doesn't work, we have to wait till the week next week and go to a plumbing supply store and buy another crimper um, or rent a crimper or whatever. And but we've got to get this water turned back on. So now I'm going to put this in 
here through here all right so I've got my ring on here see how you do that right slide your ring on the pipe don't jar these pipes too much because these old if you're not redoing them all you could have serious trouble Okay, you just do that till it clicks and there you've got the union turn my water back on and check for leaks all right so what i can't show you i can tell you i turned the water back on and it, this was leaking the thing that i did was i crimped it again i just hit it two more times i rotated the crimping tool around a little bit and crimped it here in, in three places and it is now holding water see so we can turn we have the water turned back on i want to replumb all this but for now we have we're back in business all right and that's what you can do with your adapter if you don't happen to have a uh, crimp tool for this crimp ring for polybutylene now i get to go to the beach and they are the clam. And she found like 10 this morning. My feet are burning. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, I know. Every four dog on this beach. Don't get sand in them. Okay. And I hope you enjoyed this review or demonstration of the half inch PEX to PB adapter. Uh, the, this I found at Lowe's, Ace Hardware had a slip fitting, I, I had called them, they, they couldn't find anything, and then they called me back and said we found something, but I was already at Lowe's, and this was, this is a cheaper alternative, these are only three, these are under four dollars, I bought about five of them, just in case, it's good to have these, the rarities in your, in stock, so, um, yeah, Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks again. Bye.